Hi guys, welcome to episode 16. ...of our Pompey Premier League. We start off guys with the first game being against Luton Town, who we also have a career mode with. The links for that are down in the description below and also for Mallorca. And of course for the rest of the Pompey playlist if you wish to catch it from the start. All of them are down in the description below. Going into this guys, we are 17 points clear. Biggest difference is we are winning games. Whereas if we were drawing games it would probably be a much more open title race. And of course we've only lost one game all season. Before we jump in guys, remember to smash the likes, comment down below what you think of the series and follow me on Twitter at Jeez Legend. all the links are down below guys. 8 goals only conceded all season, not shown us for a wee while, but it just shows you how good we are defensively but also attacking wise. That's what makes the difference about our team guys. That's why we are 17 points clear and hopefully it pays off today again in this game. So. Smash the likes guys, full strength squad, let's see if it pays off because I want the three points and kick on nicely. Right, this is an early encouraging start from Watmore. Come on Watmore, get us a goal son. Come on, come on, easy, oh that was just class and easy, easy as you like. I don't know how Luton have made that so easy in the end, they've been kind of like our bogey side this season, we played them in the cup. I think on two different occasions and they beat us and we've played them in the league and we beat them but we've played them here at home and we're already a goal up after nine minutes. Tyler's not even getting close. Felt it could have done better but these are the games we have to win when you're playing top of the table you need the three points we can't afford draws because it opens up opportunities for the opposition. Nine for the season for what more absolutely delighted let's kick on and get some more goals. Right. Last, oh come on, please don't be last attacks again from the opposition. Oh, that was a funny one. That could have been a funny one. Right, Roberts. What's Roberts going to do? Ah, come on. Not ideal. This please better not be a goal now. Yes, get in. I thought it was there thrown, but clearly not. We've got the three points, guys. Get in. Sorted. Happy days indeed. Right, guys, we have deadline day. And it's not going to be the most exciting, I would say, because we aren't planning to bring really anyone in except for Goats at right back, which we were suggested to go for by a couple guys on Twitter. So I'm going with Ashton Goats, guys. He looks a good right back, 65 overall, and to be honest, Varela's not kind of doing it for us, so it kind of puts a bit of pressure on Varela to prove his worth, and by having Goats, it does the business. But in terms of our players that are going out, guys, we have quite a few that will be leaving the club pre um, for the summer, so like Atananga. So it's ideal that these guys are away and it helps us out massively. But in terms of offers for our players that we still have left, no one seems to be coming in for them. And of course we're not buying anyone either, so it makes a big difference. But everyone else seems... The biggest deal is Muller, 51 million, Chillison, 16, and... Oh, we got could be going, that would be ideal. If we get rid of them, get us a few hundred couple hundred thousand pounds in the kitty and it helps us out massively because we don't need him in all honesty because he's not playing at all for the club. Two, two hours to go. Mm, I don't think he's going because that would have kicked in by now I would have said. Yeah I don't think he's went which is not ideal. So going from that guys we have a squad report. Murphy is the 68 gone up two. Varela 65 gone up two. Tyus Brown in 68 gone up two. Looking decent. McNair, 67, gone up two. Joe Gomez is a 70, gone up three. Callum McGregor's a 70, gone up four. Looking decent stats indeed. Absolutely excited about him. Dele Alley's a 71, gone up three. Just a monster and a class act. Scott Allen's a 68, gone up two. Decent stats. Abogai's a 60, 70, gone up two. Duncan Watmore's a 66, gone up four. Just amazing stats. James Wilson's a 70, gone up 4, not really improved massively, but Adam May's a 51, Alex Bass is a 53, Kyle Bennett's a 68, gone up 1, Ender Stevens is a 66, gone up 1, Adam Barton's a 65, gone up 1, Ben Davis is 65, gone down 1, still a reliable talent, Robert's 67, gone down 1, James Dunn's a 63, gone up 1, Adam McGurk's a 63, gone up one, still here. Atananga, 59, he's going out in the summer. Watmore's a 60, gone up one. Christian Burgess, a 63, gone up one. Ashton Goats, a 65, looks pretty decent, gone by those stats. I'm looking forward to him. Webster, 61, gone up one. 
Bernard Mensah 62 gone up 4. Matt Tubbs a 63 gone down 1. Danny Holland a 64. Michael Doyle's a 62 gone down 1. He's gone out the door. Gareth Evans a 62. Kai Neesmith 59 gone up 2. Out on loan at Barnet. Chad Fields a 53 gone up 1. Benjamin Toilets a 53 gone up 3. Shorey no Snorri Nel Nelson 51. Brandon Houndstrup's a 52 gone up 2. And that is the squad report, guys. Going from that, guys, we have our second game of the episode, this being against Cambridge United at Fratton Park. Cambridge are like down the bottom half of the table. Shouldn't have too much to worry about, I would say, but we're wanting the three points nonetheless because we want to just further cement our title credentials, guys, because we are playing that well, attacking-wise and defensively, but we're not conceding very much. Now, this is not encouraging. Oh, come on, where's my defence, man? Two of them, two... Uh, Jesus God, that is like the worst bit of defending I think I've ever done this FIFA. Like, how bad, seriously, do you have to be? Like, I don't know what on earth I was doing. Like, Gomez is all over the place, my defence are all over the place, and we've been cut open so easily that Cambridge didn't really have to do much to score. And... Uh, what what can I do? It's like the first goal I've conceded in like about 10 games or something. So, I'm not impressed, but what can you do? We just have to pick ourselves up. Alright, come on. We've, we need a goal. Come on, Watmore. Come on, Watmore. You're the form player. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Tenth for the season, I think that's now in the league. Runs into the net for good measure. Get ten, lads. 1-1. One, one. It's been a struggle, really, when you think about it, that we haven't really broken down Cambridge. We, this is probably one of the worst games we've played for a little while in terms of the league that we aren't posing a threat to the opposition, but we finally get the breakthrough. And I don't think it was coming otherwise because we, we've not really troubled Cambridge at all. I, don't, I think except for, like, bar one free kick that hit the bar um, that came in, that's been about it. So, 90th minute... Heroics, maybe. 90th minute heroics, maybe. Nin oh! Thought that was a chance there. Thought that was a chance. Second attempt, surely. Second attempt, surely. Sh ah, come on. Please don't concede now for goodness. Now, nah, thank goodness for that. Hope you've enjoyed this, guys. We massively appreciate it. If you can smash the likes, comment down below if you've enjoyed. Follow me on Twitter at GZLegend and check out all the other playlists. Take it easy guys, thanks for watching and I will see you all soon.